You with me, Paradox? Yep. Awesome. All right, guys. So one restart for jump starts. Uh, Paradox will let me know if there are any. But the 15-second board is already up and out for A-Class Moto Number 1. Of course, the A-Class is a stacked lobby here tonight, so we will see who is going to get the whole shot. No jump starts. No jump starts, so we are clean and ready to go. Another try-hard racing member here. This time it is Fatosa coming in hot as he is going to get a good whole shot. Senor on the Coca-Cola Honda now moves up into second, and it is McManus. McManus on that McMonster Kawasaki. <laughs> Notice that Lomo is one of the tracks that doesn't actually get your gear dirty, so we got a lot of white kids out here. Go ahead, Paradox. <laughs> McMahon is currently sitting second in points with uh, Jack not showing up. We is actually leading tonight. If McMahon is goes 1-1, uh, he is going to make a big bend in Jack's uh, point. Yeah, so, so Paradox is saying that our series points leader Jack could not make it tonight. Um, so, this is going to be a good night for people to try to get a rundown and make up some time and some uh, and some points here uh, in the A-Class. But Fatosa actually went down back there in the roller, so it is McManus who takes away the number one spot with Reese on the Bud Racing Honda close by in second. McChicken launches it over that tabletop, tries to make a push onto Senor for the third place spot. So let us go on board here with Chicken as he is trying everything he can to catch up to Senor and put the pass in and move up into third. There he goes, takes the inside line away from Senor and makes the push. Over the wall we go. Reese now trying to put the pressure onto McManus. Action in the A class is always stacked. I seem to not have Reese's bike for some reason. Uh, not sure why, but nevertheless, looking clean as always as he is trying to put the work in on McManus right now. Let's go on board with Reese as he is trying to push and make a pass for the lead. So I've spoken to McManus uh, earlier, and he's saying he's feeling the best he's ever uh, felt in the, on the Lamo. So McManus spending some time getting ready for this race, and he's feeling good, he says. We'll see how the, how the lap times compare to, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if Reese and or Chicken still hold the world record. Reese makes a bobble there and connects with the actual mechanics area. Loses a little bit of time on McManus, but not much on board with, uh, I believe, McChicken here as he has now moved up into third and is trying to put the pressure on Reese. So, McManus, Reese, and McChicken currently 1-2-3 and it is bar-to-bar -bar action. What happened? McManus is the one who goes down. So it's McChicken and Reese up front. Surprise, surprise. Who would have thought? Reese now holds the number one spot and a battle for the lead has ensued. Beyond that, you can see just how stacked the lobby is behind them. Senor sitting in fourth, Hemi in fifth, but Hemi now makes the pass into fourth past Senor and pushes Senor back to fifth. Jin with the k -Bell Racing team is here. His teammate Aiden, Garcia, Lucas, Skills, Dad Shoes, Hubchap on the Verb Moto Honda, Ethan on the Factory Goon Honda. So what an intense race that we are about to witness here, guys, between Reese and McChicken. Reese currently running the number two as he earned his PDX, uh, PDMX national number uh, by by taking the championship win there. And Chicken updating to the number nine uh, for, for his positioning uh, at the end of PDMX. So we will see just how well McChicken is able to hold down Reese. Timing and scoring has already updated, but the fast laps are not in yet. They will be at the end of this lap check back on that in just a moment after they wrap it up. Uh, Paradox, if you could help keep an eye on the battle for the lead. Let's see Mc McManus also on the McMonster Kawasaki still holding down third. Senor has gotten around Hemi, but it is an intense battle for the fourth place spot. Just behind them, Jen is trying to push up the new K-Bell racing kits. Woo, woo, so clean. I think Jen's out here preparing for the MX of Nations all patriotic out here. All right, Garcia gets around uh, Aiden. Looks like so does Dad Shoes on the McMonster Kawasaki. Lucas Aretas on the tryhard team. So Garcia trying to put the work in on Jin. As you can see, Hemi is still tire to tire with Senor. The pressure is building up. They are both catching up to McManus. Things are still happening up front in the battle for the lead between Reese and McJay. Yeah. Gonna get a good drive around oh. the whole shot corner. 
Reese went down, so Chicken is checking out. Well, Reese goes down, still not within a, McManus not within a close enough position to capitalize on that mistake. So McManus still maintains the third place spot, but Reese does fall back pretty hard, five seconds down off of McChicken. McManus in third, Hemi makes the pass on Senor up into the fourth place spot, but so does Garcia. So Senor now falls outside of the top five and is being pressured by Jin. Oh, Senor gets squirrely in that corner, loses the rear tire, and Lucas makes the pass on the tryhard Kawasaki. Dad shoes in a heated battle with Fatosa as well. So Senor is just losing spots up here. You can see Garcia went down uh, or goes off track. So Jen moves up to the inside. Is going to try to take the line away from Garcia. Can he make it happen? No, Garcia gets the stick on the inside, catching up to him. It's a three-way battle here for fourth place, guys. And it is intense. Here comes Lucas Aredes on the outside, makes the pass around Jen. So Senor goes down, not able to keep it up on two wheels. Four-way battle here, guys, for your third place spot, or fourth place spot, rather. Let's go on board here with Jen as he is in the back of this pack and keep eyes on Lucas, Garcia, and Hemi as they are all four trying to push their way up to the front and do what they can to try to catch McManus, Reese, or Chicken. Chicken running at 159 already. Man. That is insane. Oh, McManus went down. Here comes Emmy, Garcia, and Lucas. There he is, oh, just on the no. left of your screen, as Paradox is saying. McManus goes down, so we now have a five rider battle here for the third place spot. Can it get any more intense as Lucas is trying to catch up? Pushes way. Garcia goes down over the bars. Oh, Someone no. call the Alpine Stars medical crew because he is down and down hard. Hemi is this now is tire to tire with McManus. Man, I love watching the helmet cam battles. I cannot lie to you. Lucas tries to take the inside line away as he's going to get it on McManus and now pushes up into the fourth place spot. Hemi now taking your third place and final podium position. But it is anybody's game as we are three wide over the finish line table. So McManus had a great start. Not looking for it going further back in this uh, pack. McManus sending it over that table, trying to catch up and close any gaps that he might have between him and Lucas, but he goes down, so he now gives that position back to Jin. McManus now falls back. Let's get our positioning right about us here. McChicken in first, Reese in second, Hemi in third, Lucas in fourth, Jin in fifth, McManus now falls back to the sixth place spot. Being pressured by Fatosa in seventh, Garcia in eighth, Senor in ninth, and it's Dad Shoes who has now rounded out the top ten and caught up to this pack. Oh, Senor goes down. Dad Shoes narrowly avoids a mistake there. Let's take a look at the free roam cam because you can see just how long this train is. There is Hemi sitting in third, followed by Lucas, Jin, McManus, and more all within the same lane here. If anybody goes down, they are bound to pay the price. Lucas still pressuring Hemi hard. We'll get an eyeball on lap times here in just a moment, but as a reminder, you can check out Resolute Kraken's channel uh, on Twitch. He is streaming under the MX Bikes category and has live timing and scoring up if you want to see best laps, last laps, cutting penalties, positioning, all of the helpful information that you can have uh, available to yourself during this race as Lucas is still pressuring Hemi and not letting him go anywhere Hemi makes a mistake he's bound to lose one if not two or three positions so Lucas on the tryhard Kawasaki man these tryhard guys are good at this track in each class that that we have seen uh, tonight oh as Lucas makes the inside pass around Hemi can he make it stick it looks like he's going to be able to Lucas is, uh, is, is good in this section of the track as he gets a clean run through those rollers. Double in, double out, into the inside line, crosses the finish line in third. So Lucas Aredes has now taken your final podium spot and pushed Hemi back into fourth. I think uh, Reese went down again because the four second gap turned into a 14 second gap, but Reese is now letting it go because he's running a 157 with Chicken running a 158. Look at the gap that McChicken has on Reese. There is McChicken. You can see Reese coming through the trees there. 
Reese has gapped these guys as well, so it's bye-bye chicken. He is gone. It's going to take a miracle for even Reese to catch up on that gap. So we're probably looking at a 1-2 run by McChicken and Reese, but hey, it's ignorant to say that it can't happen because anything can. Hemi trying to make a push on Lucas here for the third place spot as they are now pretty much fender to fender as we come into this final long stretch here. Oh, Hemi gets cross rutted, shoves the front tire into the face of the jump, loses some time. Fortunately for him, he did not go down, but Jen is going to capitalize on that and catch up. Dadchu is now well within the top 10 as he was sitting outside of it just recently and now catching up to Fatosa. So Fatosa, another member of the TriHard team, TriHard racing team. Dadchu is just trying to put the work in on him. Fatosa is going to go for the inside line here. You can see not many people are taking that outside. Look how rutted the inside is and the E-Road versus the out. Everybody takes that inside there. Uh, so if anybody goes out, they're pretty much just uh, just cheating themselves. Garcia's here now having caught up as Dad Shoes has made the pass on Fatosa. Oh, Garcia tries to hit that tabletop there and scrub it hard to make up some time on Fatosa and ends up running into the back of him. Goes down and punishes himself. So, man, look at here. We've got a battle between Dad Shoes and Fatosa still. Hemi has fallen back off of Lucas. Where is... There is your second place spot of Reese. So let's go back on board here as Garcia has now fallen back behind Hubchap and is trying to make the pass on him. Uh-oh, wrong button there. Okay, sorry about that. So Dad Shoes crosses the finish line in sixth, but cuts are gonna get the best of him. No, wait, it's Jen who has cuts as well and Dad Shoes. So Fatosa gathers the fifth place spot uh, technically, according to timing and scoring, but Dad Shoes is still trying to hunt down Jin uh, for the fifth physical position. So Lucas still in third. Hemi trying to hunt him down and catch him. Let's take a look at these lap times. As we said, Chicken with a 158, Reese with a 157. Lucas in the 201s, Hemi in the 202s, Fitosa running a 202, Jin with a 204, Dad Shoes with a 201. So pretty comparable times to the B class, minus anybody who is under two minutes. We have a lot more 201s in this lobby um, than we did in the B class. But, I mean, lap times like that are going to be understandable. The, the, the difference between the A class skill and the B class skill isn't much there just has to be a cutoff somewhere we can't have 50 riders on the gate in mx bikes unfortunately so uh, there's going to be some b-class riders who can compete in a there's going to be some a-class riders who who could maybe fare better in b-class but right now uh, things are pretty balanced so the classes sit as they are there are obviously some front runners in the a-class who certainly belong there and moving them down would be a huge mistake on my part um, so you've got your front runners in every class. McChicken still holding down the lead here in moto number one of the A class with seven minutes left. Reese in second. Oh, just as we switch to Lucas, he goes down and he goes down bad. So now Hemi is going to take that spot away from him. What happened to Lucas? We might have seen Lucas crash out. I don't see him in the background here. No, he is not. Good. Okay. He did not crash. I mean, he, his game didn't crash. Um, so yeah, so on board now as Jin loses a position to Dad Shoes. Dad Shoes now working his way up into the fifth place spot. Sorry, it should be should be fourth place. The the cuts that they have, um, Lucas has overcome simply because of where he is on the track. But this is Hemi in third. This is uh, Dad Shoes sitting in fourth as he almost gets into that tough block but manages to keep it up on two. Jin sitting in fifth place physically and Lucas in sixth, but their cuts again have allowed Lucas to maintain fourth place spot. So Jin bar to bar with Dad Shoes on the K-Bell Racing KTM as he is trying to put that work in and make a pass back, gets a little bit squirrely, manages to keep it up on two, but that allows Lucas to catch up on just a couple of bike links. Off in the corner there, you can see that Ethan is currently in a battle with skills. Adam on the Verb Moto Honda not too far behind. Rocking that white and gold gear made by one shot. So, going back up here, we still see that the gap, man, the gap. As Hemi goes down, Hemi goes down, and that's going to allow Dad Shoes to catch up. And Jin as well. 
So what was a comfortable podium for pos position, uh, sorry, for Hemi has now turned into a four-way battle. And given the cuts that Jin and Dad Shoes have, we could see Lucas up into the third place spot, depending on what happens to Hemi here. Let's get a closer look at this battle here for the podium position between Lucas, Jen, Dad Shoes, and Hemi. Oh, as Jen goes down, tucks the front at the foxhole shot corner, gives it up to Lucas. Dad Shoes now pushing his way past Hemi into the third place spot, but he goes down, does his best recent impression, front flips, lands it, and then actually crashes, losing those two spots to Hemi and Lucas. So we are literally right back where we were, Hemi sitting in third, Lucas sitting in fourth, and Dad Shoes rounding out the top five. with a 42 and a 44 second gap behind your leader in 15 minutes. Just on another plane of existence out here. So Fatosa sitting in sixth. Hubchap on that Verb Moto Honda just completely twisting that throttle back and pinning it trying to catch up to this pack. Let's look at his lap times here. As he ran a 201.7, just about a half a second faster than Jin. So Hubchap might catch up, but it's going to be hard to do it just based off a of raw speed as Dad Shoes sends the wall jump too hard, lands down into the flat, goes down and loses his top five spot to Fatosa and Jin, allowing Hubchap to catch up. So the question is, can Hubchap latch on to Dad Shoes? Both of them push their way back up and have a battle with Jin and Fatosa fun to see, that's for sure. Man, all of these riders. Take a look at the... Uh telemetry data down here as we watch uh, McChicken. Let's see here. Where is it at? There you go. Go on board with your race leader who is absolutely stomping the yard right now. Just third gear pinned on this McMonster Kawasaki everywhere he goes. Reese with the 17 second gap. I mean, it's still a lot, but yeah, there's not much time left in the moto. Just under three minutes plus two laps to go. Lucas still as much of a threat as he has been. Hemi's got to keep it clean and up on two wheels if he wants to finish off in the podium position. So something has happened to Dad Shoes and he has gone down. It's going to be Owen with the G Fuel team who makes that pass on Dad Shoes. Dad Shoes loses spots to Hubchap uh, and further separates the gap that he had with Jin in that battle. So Hubchap's consistency has allowed him to move up into a top five spot according to timing and scoring. For the next two plus two, can he make it happen and he even move up further? As Fatosa has now got around Lucas, but look at this, Hemi is stuck on the wall. He's going to lose all of that gap that he had on Fatosa and Lucas, and we are going to see a three-way battle for the podium if Hemi isn't extra careful. can't let the pressure get to him. He clearly has the skill and the speed to stay in the position that he is in, but these guys have the hunger and the drive to take it away from him. Fatosa gets a little bit worried there, almost goes down, but still manages to keep it up, and they are closing in on Hemi. It's just constant, full throttle from these guys everywhere they go. Lucas trying to make the inside pass on Fatosa. Can he get it? Bar to bar as they come back across the start straight. Taking the inside here. As we can see, that rut is already formed out well. And it does happen. Lucas does get the pass on Fatosa and is starting to put some bike links in between him and get right back into the hunt for Hemi for the third place spot as he has edged ever so close. He is not going to let Hemi run away. Lucas Aretis wants to finish on the box here in the A class as he makes a mistake and goes off the track. So now Fatosa has caught up once again. 
Fatosa does have cuts, though. You can see that he is physically in fifth behind Lucas, but his timing is putting him down by an extra five seconds. Here is Hubchap again on the Verb Moto Honda. So Hubchap just full charging ahead. Timing and scoring, or the standings on the top left, will show you that the timer is now out as Hemi goes down. And Lucas does make the pass into the third place spot, as well as Fatosa and almost Hubchap, but not quite. So Hemi lost two critical positions off of that mistake, loses his third place finish, or third place position rather, and gives it up to Lucas. So Lucas, man, his, his efforts and his consistency have paid off. He's moved into the third place spot, but now has three laps to go. So he's gonna start feeling the pressure that Hemi felt. And the question is, can he live up to it and hold on? Checking in with your race leader here, McChicken, as he is going to cross the finish line in just a moment and grab himself the two-lap card. So we will see about another four minutes in this moto for your race leader, McChicken. Here is Reese, who was able to close that gap by about six seconds or so. We will see what the gap is here. Man, he is catching Chicken. Is Chicken letting off and riding his way to an easy win? Or has Reese turned on the, on the afterburners here? as his last lap was a two flat and Chickens was a 202. So it's possible that we could see Reese catching up, but I just don't know. Man, it could come down to the wire if it does, but we will see. So that gap is still ever so large between Lucas and Reese because we are only just now seeing Lucas come into the rollers here before the finish, but he still does sit in the third place spot still being pressured by Fatosa and Hubchap as Hemi falls back uh, due to that mistake earlier. So try hard team trying to put it on the box tonight in A-Class Moto number one. Reminder everybody that this is only A-Class Moto number one. We'll have a 10 minute break and one more moto to go uh, after that to round out week five of Backyard MX season two. Tosa being pressured by Hubchap hard here in the sixth place position. It's actually the uh, fourth place position, but he is sixth according to timing and scoring. Hubchap gets the good inside drive and is trying to make the pass on Fatosa as they are bar to bar coming over the wall jump. Hubchap once again takes the inside line on the Vermoto Honda. Is he able to get the better drive? Almost, but he manages to keep it clean, does not bump into Fatosa, chooses not to take them both out. Smart riding by the A-Class riders. Fatosa manages to maintain that position, but Hubchap is trying to give it everything he's got. And as you see in the top left screen, top left corner of your screen, the white flag yeah, is out for the race leader McChicken. Yeah. Hubchap running 201s consistently. Rider in front of him, Fatosa also with 201s in the 202 area as Hubchap goes down. So Hubchap goes down. What did I do here? Uh oh. What happened? I still have. Oh, I hit a replay button. That's my bad. <sighs> That'll pucker you up. Lucas sitting in third still. Uh, where is fourth? Okay, so Fatosa sitting in fourth, and he is close. Not rip, not rip, guys. We saved it. Little did I know that space bar plus one on the number pad is a replay hotkey. Never been so scared in my life. Lowercase f, not a capital F. Uh, yes, Barboza, that is correct. So, Lucas's teammate here, Fatosa, on the Husqvarna, racing for tryhard, is trying to push up into the third place spot. But if you ask the tryhard racing team, it is King Lucas who is currently sitting in that third place spot. And he is going to try everything he can to take it home. 
on board with your race leader, Mick Chicken, as he takes the checkered flags with a fist pump over the finish line. Here is Reese on the Bud Racing Honda team who is going to take your second place spot. What a chicken, what a 156. Cruising across the finish line there. So, last lap battle here between Lucas Aredes and his teammate Fatosa on the tryhard team. Fatosa's got just a few corners left to go as Gerb is getting the blue flags. Gerb's going to be like, why did you just have to say that? So can Fatosa do anything? The, the the speed that he has is not enough to catch up to Lucas here, I don't think. So Lucas has just got to keep it clean and consistent through these rollers and for one more corner. And I do not believe this man has any cutting penalties. So with his hand up in the air, Lucas Aredes on the tryhard Kawasaki is going to take the final podium position with Fatosa coming across the finish line in fourth. Hubchap with another top Hubchap. five finish in the A-Class. I think that is his is. second of the season. Hemi in sixth. Hemi. Gersh oh, Gersh. Dad Shoes. <laughs> what is Dad Shoes doing? Dad Shoes misses out uh, off of that position from Garcia, crosses the finish line. Oh, you got a eighth. cut for that. Oh, my gosh. So oh, he almost crossed the position. Jen in ninth. Oh, Owen rounding out your top ten. So Gerb here does not want to uh, make another lap around the track, it seems. Although I don't, I don't think he'd have to. Checkered's right here, Gerb. Just, just hit that little little thing right there. Is Gerb out of gas, man? Is he just pushing his way across the track? That's that's what we're gonna go with. Gerb clearly has the uh, speed and the confidence to win <laughs> this thing. Um, something must have happened there. Man is stopping to make sure his friend is okay. Here come Steez and Skills in a final corner battle. And it should be Adam with the Verb Moto team taking it away. Nope. Oh, I'm getting the result. Come on, Gerb. The results are exported. Come on, Gerb. There we go. All right. So thank you, Paradox, for exporting the results.